there's a few things that are different about the plan in. Number one, if you go see a doctor, if you have a doctor visit after your Part B deductible is covered, if the doctor sends a claim to Medicare that includes a doctor office visit fee, you will have a copayment. You're going to pay 20% of the doctor office visit fee on a sliding scale, but with a maximum of $20. So it cannot be more than $20, but it can be less. If we're talking to individuals who do have a number of different health conditions that they are dealing with, maybe they have a number of specialists, they go to the doctor quite often, uh, maybe you know once a month. We most likely will not recommend the plan in because of the co-payments. However, if you are like many of the individuals that we work with and are relatively healthy and only go to the doctor on a routine basis every uh, few times a year, then considering a plan in certainly is a good option. Okay, another uh, possible out-of-pocket expense on a plan in is $50 copayment at a hospital emergency. If you are treated at the hospital emergency room and then are admitted to the hospital, there is no copayment. If you go to some other urgent care facility that's not a hospital emergency room, there is no copayment.